So a lot of people are very optimistic, as you know, with wind and solar, the renewables cost coming down, the battery costs are coming down. You think that's enough or do you no, think that need is more? so disappointing? Uh, <laughs> I mean, really, uh, the uh, Voslav yesterday, uh, he, he said, OK, here's Tokyo, 27 million people. You have three days uh, of a cyclone basically every year. It's 22 gigawatts uh, rate over three days. You know, tell me what battery solution uh, is going to sit there and provide that power. I mean, let's not joke around. Your multiple orders of magnitude, you know, oh, $100 per kilowatt hour, that's nothing. That doesn't solve the reliability problem. And remember, electricity is 25% of greenhouse gas emissions. Whenever we came up with this term clean energy, I think it screwed up people's minds because they didn't, now they don't understand. I was at this conference in New York, I won't name it. And they were saying, all these financial guys got on stage and said, oh, we're going to rate companies in terms of their CO2 output. And we're going to say this company puts out a lot of CO2 and financial markets are magical and all of a sudden the CO2 will stop being emitted. And I was like, okay, how are you going to make steel? Do you, do you guys on Wall Street, do you have something in your desks that makes steel? <laughs> what? Where's the fertilizer, cement, plastic? Where's it going to come from? You know, do planes fly through the sky because of some number you put on a spreadsheet? So the, the madness of this so-called finance is the solution. Uh, I don't get, I just don't get that. There is no substitute for how the industrial economy uh, runs today.